Hi, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt. Adrian and I have been friends for about 18 years. In that time, we would play tabletop games in which we'd wage naval warfare during World War II. We'd battle against Cthulhu and the Elder Gods. We'd maneuver miniature toy soldiers to fight for American freedom from Britain or to field the Union versus the Confederates. At one point, he told me about a tabletop gaming convention in Maine named Huzzah. He went the very first year it was held, and he fell in love with it. He knew that I'd also love it. So the following year, I went along with my wife. After that, Adrian and I met up at the convention to play games together almost every year. One year at the convention, I was recording a podcast episode about tabletop gaming. For years, Adrian heard me talk about my podcast. Eventually, I wore him down, and he agreed to come on my show for that recording. I knew he wasn't looking forward to it. He shook his head and made that face where he thinks you're nuts. It wasn't the first time he gave me that look. I was used to it. But I held him to his agreement. He and I sat down. I flipped on the recording, and we talked. Next thing you know, an hour went by, and we were finished. At the end of it, he smiled. He actually smiled. He told me he enjoyed doing it and was willing to do it again. That was the start of him co-hosting my show with me. Since then, we've done about 10 years of episodes together. People got used to seeing us at local conventions. If one of us was there, the other surely was as well. We'd interview people, play games, film parts of the conventions, and go to exclusive after-hour parties. I know, I know. The idea of Adrian doing all this socializing with all these people doesn't match the persona he projected. Adrian did all this, I believe, because he enjoyed it on some level, and because he did it for me in our friendship. During the course of all of this, our friendship grew stronger and we grew closer. To say Adrian and I were friends is, for me, an understatement. Adrian is part of my family. The family we choose. He and I had a foundation of shared commonalities from our outlooks in life, his service in the Navy with me being a Navy brat, and our love of our families all the way to our passion for tech, for helping others, and for tabletop gaming. From that foundation, our differences were able to shine, and we were able to do it with the support from each other. I'm an idea person with my head in the clouds who is always looking for a way to make things interesting and appealing to others. I want to do all the things all the time. Adrian was more realistic. With his feet firmly planted in the ground, he helped me to make my ideas a reality. Together, we'd problem solve, search out the weak points, and then collaborate. The end result was always, always far superior than if we had went it alone. I'm a very touchy-feely person who cries at commercials and tells others how I feel about them. Adrian wasn't like that. He didn't wear his heart on his sleeve. What he did, however, was show you how he felt. He spoke through his actions he knew of my dislike for traveling long distances, and so he routinely offered to drive us to conventions that weren't nearby. He'd be the first to share his rule books to help me get started until I could buy my own. He'd tackle projects that needed doing, especially when he knew someone didn't like to do them or couldn't. Without the need for words, he always let you know how he felt about you. One of my missions in our friendship was to make him laugh as much and as often as possible. It wasn't easy, but sometimes I'd succeed and the results were worth every single effort. He'd smile, a loud laugh would erupt, his eyes would squint, and if it was particularly funny, tears of joy would creep out of the corners of his eyes. Adrian put up with all sorts of silliness for me over the years. Nothing was off the table when it came to trying to make him laugh. The impact Adrian had on my life isn't unique. Countless others have gotten to know him and appreciate him. 
His presence is particularly felt in the tabletop wargaming community. Members from across the globe are finding ways to pay tribute to him. York Bender designed a wooden Jules Verne-esque submarine model and christened it the USS Adrian Benson. He's selling it through his company with some proceeds from each sale going to fund cancer research. Mike Payne is creating a fictional version of the historical Brass Rail Saloon in Shanghai and naming it Captain Benson's Brass Rail. Others are setting up memorial games in Adrian's honor. One individual is creating a role-playing game character inspired by Adrian. And still another has built a model-covered bridge and named it after Adrian. That man said to me, quote, All heroes have bridges named after them. Unquote. I miss my friend and the many, many adventures we took together. But I have a plethora of memories that will stay with me for years to come. Adrian may be gone, but he is most assuredly not forgotten. I am a better man for having known him and for him being my friend. Thank you. Thank you.